Hi everyone. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes sharing updates from the progress here in the shed. I'm hoping that you'll like it. So I want to start with the first update here. So what you're looking at is the corner in the south east of the shed. So originally it was this two by four and this two by four, but I'm building out the wall. You can see it here. So I need to replicate that with the two by threes. And this board here is the last one to go up and it'll go like this. So what's significant is the drywall needs a place to get anchored in. So there's another two by three that comes out right here up to about here. So the drywall can go in on that piece and then it can go in on this piece right here and that will work out really well. Now I've got this green wire here. That green wire is for grounding. It's an extra layer of safety with the little breaker panel that I've got here for the wiring in the shed. So that needs to get hooked up when I'm doing the wiring. My friend Joe was here today and the piece closest to the floor is called a base plate. So all along, all along in there has been put in. Then we put my stuff back in here for the night. And then Joe also got this piece up right here. So I had screwed it together. If you look behind there, that's the one side, but it's wider than normal. There's two of them together and behind. So I prepared the pair of them earlier in the day. And then I had pre-started the screw holes like going from there to there and then to that one and to that one, just back and forth so that it just needed to get screwed in. So it took Joe about three minutes to, to put that up for me. And it took him about 20 minutes to disconnect the baseboard heater and get the base plate in. So I'm really pleased with that. So what this means is that I can now put the two by three on that one and there, there, and there and you know like that so there's lots of work that I can do that doesn't involve bending that hurts me and I can just take my sweet time a few interesting things at least what I find interesting this piece of pink here is a gasket it stops air drafts from underneath the base plate so if you look really closely there's just a ever so slightly bit of pink right there at the edge. It's underneath there to stop cold air from coming into the shed during the winter. So make it much more energy efficient. That's not expensive. Um, the roll of it, oh, where's the roll? The, uh, there's the roll down here of what remains of it. That roll was about $8. It's really good value. You can spend $8 on heating really quickly up here in Canada. Um, I was up to Home Depot this evening and I bought these green, these nails with green caps. So that's to hold the vapor barrier up and the green caps prevents the vapor barrier from tearing out. So let me try to say this in English now. There's going to be a piece of plastic that goes here after the insulation is filled in. And so those are what you use to hold the vapor barrier onto the wood. So I've got them here now, and that box was about $14, and I got that as a reward uh, from Home Depot. I've got these clips here for the Ethernet cables once they're ready. That's these uh, round guys right here, and the expanding foam. There's a few spots that needs that. Um, I think it's also worth showing you my little setup back here. I've got my two saw horses. There's the one there, and the other one's just underneath the cement mixer there. 
this is a great height for me to work at. So I'm able to start the screws. So when I say the screws, the ones I'm talking about are the five inch guys. Um, where are they right now? Huh, I wonder where they went to. If we didn't put them back when we finished work today. Just give me a second here. Um, I don't see them. Marco! <laughs> oh, where'd they go? Well, they can't be that far. Oh, there they are. Joe put them away from me. Okay. <laughs> They're almost where I, where I want them to be. That's the five inch screws here. Okay. So these guys are long, but they're structural screws. And that's what's needed to, to join these extra wood on. So it ends up like that, where half the screw is in the two by three. And then the other half goes into the original framing, the two by four. And it makes a really, it makes a really good join. Okay, um, anything else that's interesting around here? I don't know, a lot of this stuff's really geeky. Um, you know, I've got my little piece of paper. Oh, I'm blocking the camera. I apologize. I've got my little piece of paper there showing what I'm using the fasters for. Um, just so that I don't get, I don't lose track of it. And I don't have to think about it when I'm laying in bed. The paper's got a good way of remembering it all. Right here, um, this is my hazmat mask. There's been some mouse dropping, so when you breathe, the air gets filtered through here and it's safe to breathe. Okay, so it's coming. There is still a lot of work. Like the electrical um, needs to get moved off of there and put onto the edge of the two by threes, but it's coming and I'm satisfied. My little trailer here for my you know, wheelchair mobility scooter, um, that's gonna be donations and I've got another the stuff that's in this box is going to be donations as well um, that I'm not using. I have a fair amount of cleaning that I still need to do, but all in all, you know, I'm happy to see progress. And, you know, you can see here that I've got some of these up. I was able to do myself and just slow and steady. Lots of breaks. You know, I saw when Joe was here, he can work a lot faster than I can, but I do get a sense of satisfaction and seems friends are motivated to help me when I do the bit that I can myself. Okay, anyway, that's, that's sort of what's going on in here for right now. Okay, hope everyone's doing well. Bye for now.